Stormfield Giant Study Centre. Would you like to introduce yourself by telling us your name and a little bit about yourself? Yep, I'm called uh, Greg Brown and I'm currently the Stormfield Giant's Assistant Conditioner. Um, what country were you born in? I was born in um, England and born in Israel. Do you speak any other languages? Uh, not anymore. I used to speak a bit of French when I was young, but not much anymore. I just English here. Can you tell us a little bit about your culture and your family's heritage? Yep. Um, my mum and dad and the majority of my family are all from Jamaica, so that's pretty much where we all hail from. What is, what's the biggest difference being between living in the UK and your family's country of origin? Definitely, as you can see, it'd be this weather, there's not really as much rain or as much cold in Jamaica, it's always pretty warm and pretty sunny, so the weather would be a main thing here. Yeah. What are the positives of living in the UK? Um, I suppose there's probably a better economy in the UK, a much better sport, um, and quite a bigger mix of people, I guess. Are you religious? If so, what are your faiths? Um, not really religious, my mum and dad are uh, Christian, so I suppose if anything I'd be Christian, but not really that religious. Have you suffered any racism whilst living in the UK? Um, maybe a little bit when I was young, little bits and little bits and bats when you know, kids say a lot of things here and there between each other, but not really. How old were you when you first became involved in rugby? Um, I played rugby when I was about 15, I think, when I first started. Yeah. Yeah. What barriers, if any, have you faced? Have you suffered any racism from players, supporters whilst being involved in rugby? Um, you might. When I was playing amateur rugby when I was young, you'd go to certain little villages where there weren't a lot of um, probably black or Asian people, so you might get the crowd saying little things here and there to try and upset the players and maybe put them off their game a little bit. But realistically, not, not that much, not being too bad. Why did you get involved in rugby league? Um, I'd say I had a few friends who were a bit older than me who played rugby. Um, I'd seen it on TV and I thought, yeah, I could have a good go at that, and I thought I'd have a try. Is there a family history of playing football? Football? I mean, rugby. Um, nah, um, there wasn't really a lot of rugby league in Jamaica where my mum and dad came from, so um, nah, that all pretty much stemmed from being over here. Have you played any other sports? Um, I've done little bits of martial arts and I've played a bit of football and I try and play pretty much all sports really. Who is your role model and why? Um, I think my role model might be my dad, you know, he's, you know, he's he moved over from Jamaica, he, um, he always works really hard and um, he's generally been a really nice guy, you know, and I've tried to be somewhat like him myself, so probably my dad. Do you have any ideas for engaging other ethnic minorities into playing rugby league? Um, not necessarily ethnic minorities, probably more so just just the whole population and kids in general, you know. The, it's, it's a good thing that's a nice team sport that involves everyone and get them off the street and get them doing something a bit more productive. So that, that works well for black boys and young Asian boys and young white boys as well, you know, everybody should, should have a thought really. Thank you for participating in our Giant Study Centre media project. Not a problem. Nice talking to you. Later.